Okay, we are live. Oh, what's going on? In Sailorville Studios. Live from Sailorville Studios. Check this out. Woo, Joe, Joe Backy, Backy killing it thing. over there. Getting things ready for uh, our good, good friend Cole. Hey, Man, the how's lights, going, Jared? The lights are gone. Dude, six feet, six feet. Six, oh, <laughs> yikes. Got to stand up here. Yeah, no kidding. Watch Cole. Out for COVID. Cole, for those of you who don't know, is a, a new missionary to us, but uh, what am I telling you about him for? He's right here. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, and... I grew up as a, uh, as a Sailorville brat, so I grew up in the youth group. Pastor Abe was my youth pastor for years, and um, you know, uh, God's really moved us, so I'm excited to share that with you. As, uh, as we get recording today. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. He is, where are you heading to be a missionary? South America, Peru specifically. Yes. And who is sending you out? Uh, Living Waters Fellowship. Living Waters. So, one of our daughter churches is sending him out. And we're excited about that. Cole is going to be sharing a devotional here soon. He'll be recording it and we'll be posting that for you tomorrow tomorrow so um whoa that's cool look at this i'm over on the tv look at that oh can we see that yeah, not really <laughs> not enough not enough jared um, tell me about your easter uh my easter let's see i well it was a little different than normal uh normally i'm waking up quite early i don't know if you know this about uh people on staff at a church, but we get to church pretty early on Easter. Got to be here before that 7 a.m. service. Yeah. Before that 7 a.m. sunrise service. Oh, yeah. So I uh, got to sleep in a little bit, which is nice, um, but yet still got, got up and uh, ready to go for the day. Uh, still got dressed like normal. You did? I did. I did. My girls... They had chosen Easter dresses already, so they wanted. How to get many of you guys up. dressed up for Easter? Leave us, leave us a thumbs up in the comments or something if you dressed up for Easter, or mm. if you just went to Easter in your sweatpants. That's kind of <laughs> hilarious too. Yeah, I was just talking to the uh, to the Warshams. And uh, Liz said how cute our girls looked, and she said, yeah, half of us weren't even ready yet. We just kind of <laughs> rolled out of bed. So that's totally fine and pretty normal as well. Oh, we did do an Easter egg hunt. Regardless of the, yeah, even though it was killer cold and raining, uh, but we did it in the garage. So that was a little idea. different. What about your Easter? Um, Other than debuting, I mean, the face of Sailorville, uh, this guy. I did do the morning greeting. Nothing you but the best. They used to call it announcements. Now there's not really too much announcing, mostly <laughs> just saying hi to people. Like, hey, announcements for all the things that are now canceled and no longer going on at church. The face but. of Sailorville right here, <laughs> right here. So this week for youth group. I asked how we, your Easter was. Was that it? I mean, that was pretty much it. I got to be on, I got to, no, I, I mean, I watched the service online. I did go over to my parents' house and we had an Easter lunch with there my parents go. and my brothers. Um, and that was pretty much it. We did a Zoom call with Jared and his family. Ooh, and, that was uh, fun. And Jared's very, parents. And very entertaining. Yes. Very entertaining. Typical boomers, you know, trying to figure out technology. <laughs> it was amazing. Stop <laughs> spreading lies. We're not boomers. Not you. Not my parents. Oh, your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that it was hilarious trying to get them on a Zoom call. Jared's parents. <laughs> it was <were> amazing. Hopeless. <laughs> it was they incredible. tried three different devices. It was a solid 40 minutes before they had something working where we could see them and hear them. It was amazing. And where they could see us in a way that they were content with. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so this week. This week. We're continuing our series on mission. Uh, Josh Anderson kicked us off last week, and then Vivian Schwab continued it. 
Um, there goes Zach Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Fisher. Oh, what a boss. <laughs> um, and this week, that series on mission is continuing. We've got Cole. We already introduced you to him. And then uh, our very own Charity Pearson is going to be speaking. Yeah. Oh, Marilyn. Hi. She says hi to me. Okay, Charity Pearson. Here she is. Boom. There she is, folks. Hello. In the flesh. It's okay. I might be closer than six feet, but there's glass between us. You're, you're, you're so, good. so we're good. She, Charity, share what, um, a snippet of what you're going to be talking about on Thursday to the students. Well, I'm excited to tell you about growing up in Portugal. For those of you that don't know, that's where I grew up. My parents are missionaries. I'm going to teach you some of the lessons I learned and, oh, around the glass. It's okay. Teach you some of the lessons I learned growing up, um, and also tell you how you can, um, encourage some of our missionaries and other missionaries that you may know from around the world. Boom. That's going to be awesome. Hi, Lisa Backy, say hi to the students. Yes. Hi. She's holding down the fort like a boss. See you later. Bye. See you Thursday. See you, Zach. Bye. <laughs> so, Cole and Charity this week, and then next week we'll finish off the series with none other then John Leonard himself, <laughs> Jared's dad. Yeah. He's going to come and he's going to some stuff. <laughs> oh, man. I was giving you a bad time for calling us boomers and making fun of us. <laughs> I thought you were saying hi and being kind, but you were giving me a hard time. Oh, Marilyn. <laughs> well, uh, Andrew, let's have a seat here. Let's talk about uh, just this morning. Uh, you and I had our Monday morning meeting, as we do, and uh, we were virtually, virtually, clearly, um, and we were talking about uh, our Bible reading plan. Yes, we were in uh, Luke. What chapter was that? Is it twenty-two? Oh boy, Bad. this doesn't bode well. <clears throat> um, oh, she loves us both. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Look it up there. It's, it was in Luke, and it was. God and uh, God was talking to us, both of us really, separately, um, about service. Talking to us about how we need to be serving people, especially during this time. But I was right on Boom. Luke 22. You boss. Well done. Talk to him a little bit about how God was challenging you today. Yeah, so we're reading, uh, I, I was doing the five-day reading program that a lot of people at church are doing, read from the book of Judges, and then also from the book of Luke, and uh, got some cool things out of Judges today, too, learning about Gideon and uh, some of the ways that he actually ended up stealing glory from God and did not end very well. But that's a subject for another time, maybe. The main thing that... that we don't have enough time to have Andrew dive deep into that <laughs> one. <laughs> don't have time for two lessons, so just one today. <laughs> um, so I was reading Luke chapter 22, and uh, in this whole chapter, Jesus uh, has the Last Supper, and then he's betrayed by Judas. Uh, he's praying for his disciples, then he's betrayed and arrested, and all of that goes down within this chapter. But earlier in the chapter, he's uh, having the Last Supper with his disciples. And uh, as they're eating, or maybe it's while they're walking to um, the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus talks about uh, how the people who are greatest in the kingdom of heaven are those who uh, were servants here on earth. Um, he says... Uh, the kings of the Gentiles lord authority and exercise authority over those, uh, over them, call themselves benefactors, but you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the youngest people in that time were the ones that were like the least worthy. Actually, back to Gideon, uh, Gideon was the youngest in his family, and so yeah, when God says... Hail, mighty warrior. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like the lowest clan and I'm the youngest in my family. So the youngest were really low, but he says, uh, the greatest among you should be like the youngest and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? 
It usually would be the one who's at the table getting served. Um, But Jesus says, uh, he says, is it not the one who's at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. And uh, we didn't read about it in in Luke, but we also know that this is uh, a point where Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And so Jesus has just displayed himself as someone who... That's in uh, John 13, in case you're wondering where Whoa, that's at. bud. <laughs> right on top of it. Well, I, you know, was just doing some light reading last night and uh, happened to stumble across John 13. <laughs> so... Um, Jesus demonstrated himself as, <laughs> as someone who uh, was a servant. And that's nothing new, obviously, but it just got me thinking about right. my attitude during this uh, whole pandemic. And uh, I think that a lot of us, and I've seen this especially not only in myself, but also in students and um, and even adults too, but we're trying to like make the most of this opportunity, but we're trying to, uh, I guess, I think especially students, it's like, oh my goodness, school is canceled, or I just have online and it's way easier, and we're trying to make the most of it in sort of a selfish way where we're saying, okay, how can I get as many hours playing video games as possible during this time, (laughs) or how can I make this binge thing. watch all the Netflix shows yeah. that I've been waiting to watch <laughs> and I that's even been true of me I have tried to do as much as I can to make this the most comfortable time possible you know I'm setting up my home office just the way I like it lounging in my reclinable couches and stuff and stacks and stacks of toilet paper <laughs> just <laughs> blankets galore everywhere and so I'm just trying to make this as comfortable as I can just to try and get through it but um, I think in the process God has revealed a lot of the selfishness in my own heart where he says okay Andrew you're working really hard to make this as easy as possible for you you're working really hard to make the most in sort of a selfish way out of this experience but what are you doing to serve other people and what are you doing to love others and I've seen that especially with me and my wife and my daughter I've uh, had times where I've just really wanted to go do whatever made me the happiest but if I do that then usually that involves leaving my wife out of things or or not loving and caring for my daughter the way that she needs me to and so I think it's important, it just struck me this morning, I need to think about how to be a servant during this time, especially if I want to store up treasure in heaven and have great reward in heaven and that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, that's a great word, Andrew. Speaking of, while we were talking about this, we didn't even plan this. We have Pastor Paul, he's over here. You think it's all kicks and giggles. Look at this guy serving us he's taking all these bags that didn't end up getting picked up and keeping all the candy for himself i'm just kidding (laughs) he's serving us by re-unassembling those for us like a boss um and check it out right here we got cole on the tv here he's recording for tomorrow we'll be posting his video tomorrow look at that so, vest yeah he's a fashion icon yeah jump in you're gonna want to see that and did you tell him what's happening wednesday i don't know for sure if it's wednesday but i this have week. i have confirmed that we will be doing another sailorville students hot ones episode with the Pastor Pat Nemmers. Oh, yeah. Be like Bishop in the house. And so we want to get submissions for questions that you guys have for Pastor Pat. Um, I'll be picking the top questions. Um, and we're going to be eating some spicy chicken wings and asking questions. They can be theological questions. Uh, they can be funny Silly, questions. Silly, funny questions. I mean, yep. anything, or just like personal life questions like, hey, what's the hardest sermon you've ever preached? Or, or, hey, you had a huge family. You know what it's like to be, <laughs> you know what it's like to be poor. If you only have $5 in your pocket, where do you go for dinner and what do you get? Boom. I think I'm going to ask him that question. There you go. So we'll be looking for another 
version of Hot Ones coming your way. Cole is going to be sharing uh, 